What is up guys, NYKF31 here, bringing you some Madden 25 footage, a couple of online games. Um, first game, Ultimate Team, second game, Online Ranked, and I'm going to be talking about the NFL Draft. Interesting draft, fun draft to watch for the first couple of rounds. It's impossible to get it too deep into it and maintain interest, but the first couple of rounds were quite fun. And... Before I get into the quarterbacks, I got a lot to say about the quarterbacks, but before I get into that, just a couple of observations. One, you guys who have been following me for a while know that I've been um, on the Jadavian Clowney bandwagon from day one. I've been saying for the past couple of years, anytime that guy decides to come out, he'll be the first pick in the draft, and after all the hype and smoke screening about the quarterbacks, he was the first pick in the draft. Sanity prevailed had to pick him. I think he has an excellent chance of being Derek Thomas. I think worst case scenario, he's Simeon Rice. I'd be amazed if Davian Clowney busts. Absolutely blown over if he does not pan out. Let someone else worry about his bench press. Let someone else worry about, oh well, he will be going up against elite tackles. No, he won't. He won't. There's a reason why left tackles and cover corners make a truckload of money. It's because there's not a whole heck of a lot of them. whole heck of a lot of elite ones, I should say. He's going to be just fine. So, we got Clowney out of the way. And just some couple of things that I want to touch on. The Jets, my J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. I was hoping for some offense in the first round. I would have loved if Odell Beckham stuck around and fell to them, but the Giants took him. I figured the Giants would go offensive line, but they didn't. I figured if they did go offensive line, Odell Beckham had an excellent chance of um, falling to him. Then when Odell Beckham went, I was like, come on, give me Marcus Lee. Please give me Marquise Lee. Please, please, please give me Marquise Lee. Nope, no Marquise Lee. And that left Rex doing what Rex does, and that is choose defense. And I don't really have a problem with the player. Sure, I would love to have an offense with the Jets that I actually enjoy watching for once and doesn't make me want to vomit into a, you know, garbage can. I haven't had a good offense to watch since the days of Vinny, Curtis Martin, Keyshawn Johnson, Wayne Corbett. That's quite a long time ago now. About 10 years now. So Rex ended up doing what Rex does, and that's pick defense in the first round. And I can't really quibble with the player. Personally, if I was going to go safety in the first round, I would have gone ha ha Clinton Dix. But uh, Calvin Pryor's a good player. That Louisville team, they had about three or four guys go in the first two or three rounds in the draft, and they lost to UCF. We may not have another player picked besides Blake Bortles in the draft. And... I'll get into those quarterbacks in a little bit, but I think you guys can sense where I'm going with the quarterbacks, <laughs> just by the tone of my voice. But, you know, would have gone ha-ha Clinton Dix, but I can't really complain too much about Calvin Pryor. My Notre Dame guys, I kind of like where all of them went. Zach Martin, he's going to start from day one. He'll start the second minicamp begins. I like where... Troy Nicholas went. He's not really Tyler Eifert. He's a much better blocker than Tyler Eifert, but he's a big guy who doesn't drop many passes. You know, he's not going to make any big plays down the seam. I mean, he's pretty athletic, but he's not a very good route runner, but he's a big body, and he can really block very well. And I love Stefan it. I think Pittsburgh's going to be really, really happy with him. He's your prototype 3-4 defensive end. Lewis Nix, 3-4 defensive tackle, 3-4 nose tackle, goes to a 3-4 team. You just hope his knees hold up. That's the thing with him. You know, his knees are a little scary. If, he, if they hold up, he'll be a good player. If not, he could be out of the league really quick. A couple of picks and drafts that I really, really liked. Love the Rams draft. Love everything about it. Love the offensive lineman they took. I absolutely love Aaron Donald. That guy is just a monster. I watched that guy a lot. 
over the past few years. Every time I watch him, no one blocks him. He's given Notre Dame fits the past few years. He gives everybody who he plays fits. He reminds me of when Ansa was coming out. Ezekiel Ansa, every time I saw him, no one blocked him. That Rams defensive line, that they all, you know, click, they're going to be scary. They're going to be absolutely scary, and plus they got Trey Mason in the third round. Darquez Denard, Tampa 2 corner, goes to a Tampa 2 team. Zach Martin will start at guard for the Dallas Cowboys for the next 10 years. You can book that. The New England Patriots lit a draft pick on fire. Anytime you can get a guy in the first round who's coming off of two torn ACLs, you got to do it, I suppose. Tennessee Titans, Kelvin Benjamin, light that pick on fire. Don't like that pick at all. One-dimensional red zone type of guy, bad route runner, and he's lazy. Anthony Barr has Vernon Golston-like qualities. Love Jason Morrow in the second round for the Jets. Love Jeremiah Tauchu in the second round to the Chargers. I love Marquise Lee in the second round. I love the Raiders draft. Khalil Mack is a monster. I think he's going to be great. And Derek Carr could easily be just as good as any of the three quarterbacks in the first round, which is the perfect segue into that. <sighs> Where to begin? When you know there's a great My guy all along, side, as you guys you know, if you've been watching me for a while, was Teddy Bridgewater. Your eye, you're I was on the Teddy Bridgewater bandwagon back in August. So Nothing changed field, a, my opinion of him during the season. And... I really find it silly that one bad day throwing around in shorts and a t-shirt tanks his draft status and nullifies three very good years of production. I mean, I don't hate Blake Bortles, I just hate him at number three. I don't think any of these guys, I think picking any of those guys in the top ten would have been utter lunacy, but... The Manziel hype was just absurd. Absurd. That guy, I believe, is going to be an out-and-out disaster. I don't see his game. The things that made him, you know, fun to watch and an exciting college player are going to be what leads to him being out of the league in four years. The only way you get away with doing what he does or did in the college level as far as his freelancing and um, play extending abilities, the only way you get away with that in the NFL is if you have a Brett Favre on. And he does not have that. So when you combine his lack of discipline and slightly above average arm strength, and the fact that thanks to Josh Morgan's um, fascination with the Mary Jane, that he's not going to have much in the way of weapons to throw to, that's going to get ugly fast. I couldn't be happier for Teddy Bridgewater because I think that he's going to be in a good situation in Minnesota. He gets to hand off to Adrian Peterson for what's left of Adrian Peterson's prime and develop without having to be, you know, the focal point of the offense right away. And as far as Bortles, I just don't see it. With the third pick in the draft, you better be damn sure you're getting a franchise guy, a guy who's going to be a multiple-time All-Pro, and I think best-case scenario, uh, Blake Bortles is Matt Hasselbeck, that type of player. I, I just... Nothing about him really leapt out at me. Now, if you're the Jaguars and you think that the people behind you are going to be making runs at quarterbacks, then I can kind of see where you're in a situation where you feel like you have to take one. But I think they took the wrong guy way, way, way too high. So that's my opinion on that. The other fascinating thing about this draft was the devaluation of the running back position. Guys like Trey Mason... Um, Carlos Hyde, Bishop Sankey, 15, 20 years ago, those guys would have been, you know, top 15, top 20 picks in the first round. The game has really changed. The NFL has become about pass catchers, pass throwers, pass protectors, pass rushers, and pass defenders. Running back is way down on the list of priorities, so... That is my take on the NFL draft and these quarterbacks. Hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you all later.
Peace.